Well, let's take a first look at Garden CAD. When you start the program, this is what the screen will look like. I'd like you to go File and Open, and you'll be logged into the Jobs folder. I'd like you to pick one called Dylan Classroom. This is a design for a space outside of a school classroom, and uh, the brief was to, to design an interesting space and a, and a versatile space, one that could be used for a lot of different activities. And Dylan, the designer here, has done just that. This is a full-sized model of what's going to happen on the ground. And a CAD drawing, Garden CAD, enables you to, for the sake of argument, pick distance. I can measure the distance from one end of the courtyard to another, and you can see that it's 10,000 units, or in my design, uh, well, that's 10 meters, 10,000 millimeters. You can continue on measuring down, and you'll see here we get to, to 20 meters down there. So this is a, a 10 meter by 10 meter space. Not only can you measure distances like that, but you can measure areas. So it would be possible to go information and area, and this is a little uh, feature in the middle here we can measure the area of that and and it's a 6.1 uh, square meters so you can calculate volumes fairly easily from it as well if for example you clicked that shape through there you could determine the properties of it and if you pick you should be able, I should be able to pick just the area in the middle so we could go to the what are the properties of that space as well so we could that's a pond obviously we could calculate the depth of the pond we put plant symbols in via our library and our plant selector and there's a wide variety of symbols there so we can pick say block 3 and just place it somewhere in the design we haven't got a lot of space here but we'll put it right in there and I'll roll in it using the wheel of the mouse and in we go. Every plant that we put in, and let's select one of them now, that should be a quarter line. Every plant, if we pick properties, we can scroll down here and we could type in quarter line australis. Here's the botanical name and it's commonly just known as a quarter line and so you could fill that information out for every symbol that you put in your drawing and that will enable you to measure and develop uh, a plant schedule from the drawing. So we roll in with the wheel of our mouse when we want to magnify, we roll out when we want to zoom back out, we can use the right mouse button to zoom extents, that shows us the whole drawing. The dots that are over there are an electronic grid, we can remove it by pressing F7, press F7 again and the electronic grid comes on again. Some people like to design on an electronic grid, uh, others like to stay well away from it, so we'll turn it off for the moment. So these are all the things that you can do with Garden CAD